Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be showing you how to download Windows 11 beta on a device running Windows 10. Not all devices can be upgraded to Windows 11, but if you have a halfway decent laptop or PC it should be supported with no issues. I'll leave a link to the minimum system requirements in the description below, but of course you can also pause this video right here and take a look. Microsoft used to offer a tool that would check these requirements for you, but they have since removed it from their website, so you're going to have to check this manually. Assuming that you do meet the requirements, we can get started by first clicking on the Windows icon on the bottom left and opening up the search menu. Of course, you can also click on the Windows icon on your keyboard to open up the same search. Type in Windows Update Settings and go ahead and select the first result. On the left sidebar, go ahead and click on Windows Insider Program at the very bottom. And on this page, for some of you, it's going to say that you need to turn on optional diagnostic data. I personally don't enable this under normal circumstances, but sending diagnostics for this makes sense because it's a beta after all. So just go ahead and click on this link to take you to that page, and then click on this button right here to enable optional diagnostic data. Once that's done, you can close this and then go back to the Insider program and it's going to look a little different this time, you are going to see a get started button. And you can ignore this part up top. I know for sure that this device does meet the minimum hardware requirements. So just go ahead and ignore that and click on get started. Then go ahead and click on link an account and select a Microsoft account that you would like to use for the insider program. This can be any account. It doesn't necessarily have to be one that you're already logged into. Once you've logged in, it's going to show this loading screen and then click on register. Then click on sign up, select this checkbox and click submit and then click close. So sometimes it actually gets stuck on this loading screen and it just goes forever. So just go ahead if that happens and click cancel and then click get started again. Click link an account again, click on your account click continue and then click on dev channel select confirm confirm again and then you can restart your device so I'm back on the insider program page after restarting my device it now says dev channel and it also shows the account that's linked to Windows Insider from here you can go click on Windows update on the left sidebar and then click on check for updates on the very top. Windows 11 Insider Preview is eventually going to pop up and it's going to start downloading so just let it go and do that and it might take a while um, just even having this pop up took me about a full minute. Once the installation is complete you're going to see a prompt to restart your device so go ahead and do that and then follow the on-screen instructions to get Windows 11 all set up on your system. Okay, so I've restarted my computer and now I'm running the Windows 11 beta. Hopefully this process worked smoothly for you, but if you had any problems during it, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out. And if not, enjoy the Windows 11 beta and thanks for checking out the video.